School districts across Central Texas are adjusting reopening plans following today's new guidance from the Texas Education Agency. KXAN's education reporter Alex Capriello learned the Leander ISD is one of the first to announce it will provide four weeks of virtual learning to its students. KXAN reached out to more than a dozen school districts in Central Texas. Most said that they're still reviewing the TEA guidance. But Leander ISD said in-person instruction won't begin until after September 8th. Our number one priority is the safety of our students and the safety of our staff and our faculty. Without our staff and faculty, we can't hold in-person schools. The district is planning for a full year without large gatherings like musicals, marching band performances or concerts. Superintendent Dr. Bruce Gearing said these decisions are made with Austin Public Health recommendations in mind. If the protocols that uh, Austin Travis County and state and, and local governments are putting in place have effect on the virus, then there's the potential that there could be a flattening in the numbers and it could be safe to start to bring students who want to come back to campus back to campus. Commissioner Mike Morath said that's why he tacked on an extra week of virtual learning to the statewide allowance with an option to add four more later on. He said that flexibility will slowly allow more kids in the building and staff to get up to speed on safety protocols. We think that that time is going to be necessary, not, not everywhere, but in some places. Districts that still have students with connectivity issues hope to tap into the $200 million in federal funding the state just earmarked for internet access and tech devices. And school districts are being asked to try to prioritize on-campus access for those families that need it. Dr. Gearing said he wants to see Travis County reach phase two, where groups of 25 or more can gather before he opens up his schools to students. Alex Capriello, KXAN News. KXAN has received responses from more than 10 other local school districts. Find out how they're responding to the new guidance on our website.